have a search word that is going to show something that's yours like see for example I got this video. hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about what assets do you need for a successful online course now there's lots of stuff that you need to create a course and you might be thinking oh my god I can't do all this but let's go through the different things so that you can see that it's really not that complicated as long as you do it step by step so we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so what is a successful online course, right? I mean, obviously, every, uh, you might... Well, I'm not going to say obviously. I guess I should say most people would expect that to be a course that gets lots of students and hopefully sales if it's not a free course, right? But in my case, I'm going to be doing a free course. I'm going to be showing you how the pieces that you need, the assets that you need to actually have a course that people look at and think, oh, this is this is an interesting course. This course is what I'm looking for. And we're going to get into that. But before we do that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis399.jsgagnon.com dot com for the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen I'll be doing some screenshots and things like that in the blog post so go check that out there so speaking of which let's get to the screen share right away all right so first you have to decide what your course is about you probably already know that you probably have an idea already of what you're going to be talking about you probably already know how to talk about it if you're like you know in a in a in a scenario where you're basically you know talking about it in in a public setting right so you already know how to explain your topic how to talk about it and when what to say the problem is that people don't know what you're going to talk about when they don't know you right and that's the thing with an online course most people won't know who you are and you can build an audience you can build and get people to know you and all these different things that we talk about for personal branding for attraction marketing all those things but let's just dispense of all that let's assume that you have no audience that you don't know nobody knows you so how are you going to make it attractive to people so that they feel that at least you have a chance of showing them what they're looking for right so the first thing is you're going to want to look at what are people looking for actually before I do that let me show you right here I actually have kind of a list of what you need which you might be thinking oh my god that's a lot of stuff right but you do need all this you need a course title you need a course summary you need a course description you need a course outline you need the course content right the content which is you know whatever it is whether it's videos or pdfs or or anything like that you need a thumbnail so that when you're presenting your course uh you're sharing it or anything like that that there's a thumbnail that's kind of nice looking or at least or gives people an idea what it is you need a landing page you need probably and these are like kind of you know nice to have that would be good to have some follow-up emails and then some student success emails and you might want to have other uh, email sequences as well uh, like for example when they don't uh, start the course right which I guess could fall into the follow-up emails but depending on the platform you're using you might be able to do uh different things like for example you can also have a course uh no start email just to write so like for example if the platform allows it you can have a sequence that goes to people who started the course a sequence for people who didn't start the course a sequence for you know these different kinds of things right so that's uh depending on the platform you're using I don't I don't really know uh, about all the different platforms that are out there but I know what can be done and whether they allow you to do it like I know that some of the platforms don't even allow you to send emails to students right so that's one of the things that I find as a marketer that has to be possible you have to be able to connect and communicate with your students outside of the course in a way that's that's 
you know acceptable to them right so if they don't like it they can always unsubscribe that kind of stuff right but okay so let's say you have all these or at least you you would know right what your course is about right you would know what it's about so why do I say you need a title you might be thinking well you know it's obvious what the title is but the problem is when you're doing it online the title has to be something that people are searching for um and it has to be something that you can use SEO search engine optimization with right so for example if I go here and I search for I don't know how to lose 10 10 pounds in 30 days right so let's say I search for that right I'm going to find a whole bunch of you know 10 pounds in a month right uh 30 days ink uh this is actually a ink.com uh, then shape.com so you're gonna I'm gonna find a whole bunch of things so let's say that I'm looking for that I want to lose 10 pounds in a month right <clears throat> so I gotta go and I'm gonna go look at that and I'm gonna see all these different things right whoa turned off my light there sorry okay so yeah so when you're looking for whatever your topic is or whatever your ideal student is looking for you need to look at what they see here and you know how can you make this more specific now there's a whole bunch of tools on how to uh improve your search query or the or the title of your course right this is oh look at that I put hwo so I mean even if I it probably won't change change much but that's the thing so whatever your topic is right you got to look at what others are searching for so that you can see what the options are right so I like for example the course title the summary is very similar too that's going to be you're going to have to write some good copy there because this will show up right here right it'll like whenever somebody does a search whatever is your summary of of your course is going to show up in the search engine results in here right so I mean whatever these different things are and these are not courses so let's just say uh, course let's say course course on how let's see what happens here right so if I do a course how to lose pounds same thing right it's the same one so healthline th these aren't even showing up as courses right so this would be a good that would mean that if somebody searched for a course oh whoops I put too <laughs> too low it's loose right <clears throat> so I lose 10 pounds in 30 days it's all like basically in in here right so they're so okay that what I'm saying is that your title needs to be something that is going to be a search keyword because that's you want to you want people to find it whenever they search for it right since you don't have an audience you don't have anybody that knows you then they're going to be you're going to want it to be findable through a search engine right okay so that's number one your title so let's let's give you some examples like I, I'm actually working on a course right now I want to build like I said a free course I actually have created a um an ebook so if I go to what I did right which is nft uh, five step five step nft okay five step nft.com five whoops five step five step nft.com okay so that page it takes me to a funnel right I just did a very basic simple little funnel but this gives this is an, a pdf that people can get but I want to have a course that goes through this stuff as well so I want to create a course and I actually did this uh, search right now already uh, basically my my course is going to be about creating you know Solana nfts um, how to buy your first Solana nft right so I did a search for this and I find it kind of interesting that the first result is a LinkedIn result of my own <laughs> one of my own uh posts that has to do with getting an NFT using Coinbase and all that which is kind of what I I did uh but you know when I go through this I can see down here that there's the how to make your first NFT how to buy your how to buy NFT so all these things are not what I would create so this would actually be a good it would probably be a good title for my course so let's say that this will be my title let's go back to my notes so now I have my title right so my title would be this <clears throat> let's say that's my title how to buy your how to buy I guess I could say your first I actually tried this uh, earlier 
before this recording to buy your first see it doesn't change much oh that's still there that's still my my first one right here this is very interesting I'm actually in the under post did they like <laughs> did they uh do something with this I'm not sure how that works on on uh well I guess because there's a few okay there's a few comments maybe that's why but I don't know what happens on on LinkedIn how that all works but the point is that if you're doing something and you're actually going to be building it using um what's the word I'm looking for using um search engine optimization right so you want to have a search word that is going to show something that's yours like see for example I got this video right here which is a video I did uh this is another one that's from somebody else right obviously but these two videos it's kind of cool that mine is showing up right here and also um my my LinkedIn uh, over here right so I'm kind of su almost surprised but I guess my website isn't yet at the top of the list of you know search engine results okay so now I have my title right you have your title so whatever your title is I'm going to put your right here how to buy your how to buy your first Solana NFT now I don't need course in my title because it's going to be a uh, course so I'm just going to put that like this what if I just take the course out of there is that going to make a difference to the search Solana guide see the now my course income secrets isn't showing up in there I see I see I see okay so that's because my post was course income secrets right that's why it showed up when I did course when I added course to the search which is kind of cool to see because you know I'm still all learning lots of stuff lots of times I'm learning some of these things right but uh, okay so what do you need like I said what you need in your list as well is you need to have a summary so your summary is going to be something that's going to show up in your search engine results it's going to be underneath the title right and so it has to be something that's that's good so must so must um be easy to read right it has to also uh let's actually put some notes here because the course title basically has to has to be a good search query right so mm, needs to be needs to be seo friendly right and uh so for so my I'm just put that like that okay so <clears throat> must be seo friendly um yeah so basically right so now this must be easy to read must um show what the course is about and the results right so what are the results that the person is going to get out of this course right um and that's really all it has to be is just what is the course about and what are the results right so learn so let's just put mine right here so learn how to buy your first nft on solana on solsi um in easy steps to follow well, let's just put that under here so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing right in easy steps <coughs> easy steps to follow learn and then maybe I I need to improve that but the and then the course description of course could be more of the same and just expanded on it right so that's kind of what you want to make sure you have in your course description is you know kind of an expanded whenever they click on it right whenever they click on your course um there's no course here so I can't really show you what it kind of looks like I guess I could have inside of the weight loss there's no, these aren't courses either right so <laughs> let's just see how to lose is there anything in here that's actually a course I should have probably maybe found some of this stuff but lifehack.com so these this is just a blog post right it kind of gives you a list of things and that's that's often what you need as a <laughs> often what you need as a course outline right because that is the next thing that you need is a course outline when I look at this 
I'm talking about a course outline so write the course description and the course outline so <laughs> this is um more details uh than the summary than the summary right so this could be basically the the steps that you're that you're going to be going through in the course right so by the end of this course like for example you can say something like by the end of this course you will have your first nf your first you know nft nft in your solana solana wallet wallet uh you'll also you'll also understand how to buy nfts with other platforms and you'll know what an nft is right so that's kind of what the course is gonna you know in my case right so you kind of have to <laughs> kind of explain what the course is about what they're going to learn um and the kinds of things that they're going to accomplish by the end of the course right so now the course outline becomes in this case of this particular one that I'm doing it's very simple because it's just a five-step thing that I did right so if I look at my uh my actual uh, five-step nft here um, I guess I can't show you here but let me I have it I have it someplace let me go find it I've got it online here it's not here actually I'm gonna open up a new time I actually have it here so let's go in here I have some this right here so this is basically I did that on the on I did that using canva but this is basically what my what mine is right so basically these are the five steps right so for me this becomes the outline I'm just going to take this oh I can't oh yes I gotta do this like this copy that over and then I go back to my uh, where is it right here okay go back to here oh actually no I want I want to go back to my text uh, text file okay so go back to here and this will be my course outline right so this will be kind of my outline the the steps now I'm gonna have to have number one introduction and number two is going to be this three and four oops four five six and then seven is conclusion so I kind of like in a course I would always put an introduction and conclusion and then in the middle there would be um you know um conclusion did I type that right it looks wrong but anyways yeah so I would always kind of do that so I would have an introduction then I would have the content and maybe this is actually not this is actually not actually let's do this this way so number two is going to be the steps right and then inside of the steps we're going to have 2.1 right then this will be 2.2 this will be 2.3 which is step three right this will be 2.4 which is step four and then 2.2.5 which is and then over here we have number three which is the conclusion so I'm going to have three sections kind of right three chapters if you will and then one of the chapters is going to be these uh these five steps that are part of it right the five steps so maybe I should say call the five five easy steps right so introduction to and then maybe I should have in here is what is an nft because I don't talk about it inside of these steps I'm assuming the person knows what an nft is because this is a course for people who want to buy their first nft so they've kind of looked into it, what are nfts but they don't necessarily they haven't bought one yet right and they're like okay well what's the process and this kind of goes through the uh, simple steps and this is the idea here is as a course you want to have a course that's you know easy to understand and you, you it has to be specific right so now the course content obviously has to be uh so videos so whoops so videos um pdf pdf images audio quizzes right all the different kinds of things that you might want to have inside of a of your course depending on what your course is after you've kind of 
come up with your your course um, outline right you want to kind of okay well how am I going to do this how am I going to how am I going to show them how to find the nft they want right so how am I going to do uh you know how to show them how to set up their wallet is it going to be a video I'm going to do am I going to do uh, some sort of a document and in my case I already did a pdf for this whole thing it's basically an ebook that I did so I'm going to kind of take that out and put it into the course right so then you need a course thumbnail so the course thumbnail is going to be and the image like when I'm looking when you're looking through here right you don't there's no images but well I guess some of these videos have images which are thumbnails but if you um if you go through the news feed you see how there's an image right all these have images um <clears throat> so I mean there's you need to have an image that will show up whenever somebody tries to share your course or whenever you share your course or whenever you do an ad and things like that and also you want to have a thumbnail to the course because any of the platforms where you host your course will have a an image that they show uh whenever people are kind of searching for stuff on the platform right so you want to have an image like that right um okay so where's my list right over here okay so now we have our uh, so the course thumbnail this is going to be so image image that image that shows up when doing sh when sharing social media right it's also the image image that is used for the course listing right so whenever you go to your platform you list the courses somebody's searching for nft for example right they need to they're going to see your image so that thumbnail needs to kind of convey what this is about and you could do it by putting text on it like I did with this one I basically have this image right this is the image right here which has a bunch of nfts on it and then it says five simple step that's actually my image if I open this in a in a new tab this is what the image is right it's actually a little bit so that's and you and you know it could be square I could probably reorganize it to be a little bit more uh normally lots of platforms they want a square image or at least you your image needs to be so that if they cut in the middle there that it'll still be usable so you got to make sure that the image is um um is a you know uh should be let's just put uh should be should look good in square uh view right so I mean it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a square image and maybe if it is a square image it's better because lots of places will share it as a square image and if it's not square then part of it's going to be trimmed out right or or cropped out I guess you're going to make sure that it's it's it looks good um should should um quick um should give good idea of what course is about right um and what else what else uh and yeah so that's kind of what it is okay so now the course landing page is basically a funnel or uh or just a website page that people can go to when they first they, they don't have the course right they go to that page to see what the course is about so it's got to be it's got to have you know the image on it it's got to be have the title on it it's got to be it's got to have the summary things like that it, sh it needs to have that information so that people can see what the course is about right so for me if I go to my my platform and I go to uh let's say for example uh let's see let's see if I go to courses here I haven't created it yet so but if I look at the list of courses let's take this is LinkedIn courses right so I see these different courses here now I don't know I'm not going to say that this is all the best kind of thing but if you look at this for example syndication right you might be like what is this about this looks like an image it looks like it does a lot of stuff that's kind of what that's kind of what this course was about uh so if you click on it you'll get to the landing page and the landing page has the information has the the has the title has the um the summary whoops let's scroll down here has the summary here has the has the well actually this is probably not a good example because it's got lots of stuff in the summary and the details so it should probably have less stuff in the summary but this is kind of what it would look like right somebody would come to this page they would see this I'm I'm actually the let me just go to uh 
an incognito window here just because I'm logged in so you see different things that you wouldn't see as a as a visitor right so this is this is what the page looks like uh landing page this is a basic landing page uh that has the the introduction and the details and the summary and it has the thumbnail right there the course title right here and the other thing you'll notice if you see right up here this is the url to the course and it has the name of the course right here in the in the url that's important to note because search engine optimization uses the url what's called the slug to also whenever you're searching for something this kind of gives you like more points to the results right it'll make your your thing show up more in the results if you have the the right the the search key phrase in the search result this is why when I when I search for this uh I see in the LinkedIn right here I see this because the LinkedIn URL well, let's do that incognito so the LinkedIn URL also has this look look it has that how to buy your first nft right and it has my name in there too because it's my my post but the thing is that LinkedIn does the same thing they'll take the title that you gave to the to the article and they'll put it right in the URL so that's why when the search engine finds it it or search when you search and the search engine will find that as a as a good thing right so that's another thing to keep in mind right so um all right so let me see now so what else can I talk about in the in here about the course the course thumbnail the course landing page okay so the, yeah so the landing page is has the course title you know has has the course thumbnail has the course summary and has the course details and the reason why you have all that is because you want people to you know it's got to have everything in there because people are looking now the other thing that really would be good is if you had social proof um other good things are have social proof so in other words you would have a list of how many people that are in the course and maybe comments that they have so in the case of course in clicking um click ecourse platform um we're not seeing this here but let's go look at another course I have another course that has that's had that has had comments and things so if I look at uh, say this one so this one here will show there's comments right so you've got social proof right here uh some other people that said some things about the course right so Bridget and uh, as, as Doucette right here so these are people that commented on the course so it kind of becomes social proof on the course itself now if there was more obviously it'd be better then there's also the rating right so rated five stars by nine users um that's wonderful you know everybody thinks that this is a great course so that kind of gives it a little bit more cloud if you will right this one's a free course so there's 20 students in it right so now this is not something that you would see on the uh, if I go to the public page here the page that I'm not logged in you won't see again I have LinkedIn profile secrets that's actually in the URL right so the name of the course the comments are showing up and then the lessons are here right that doesn't have to be like that the the the, the landing page can be a lot less a lot more low you know some of the landing pages that you see out there will have like just the image at the top then just description in the middle and then down the bottom you have the the lessons and then you have social proof in the middle and the it's all like laid out a, in, in a longer form right whereas right now we're seeing it all kind of on the same same screen um that's really up to you when you build your landing page you can do it lots of different ways right and uh so that but that but what's important is to realize what you need to have in the landing page right what else uh, can you have like so so let's just say comments whoops comments rating right stuff like that right all right so now the last part is follow-up emails now one of the things is that depending on the platform you might not be able to do that uh click of course you can you can have um a set you know you can have people when they they when they uh add the course to the library they can be added to an email list that you can 
configure in Aweber or um, other ways uh, but basically what happens is when they register for the course when they become a student of the course they they have to have an account on the platform so they need to have an email which means that you can send them an email now um, because it's a marketing platform that information does become available there's a way for people to say they don't want you to have their email so that's making the account private so you won't be able to connect with them through uh, your Aweber but you'd still be able to set up some email sent to them when they when they join without you knowing what their email is right uh so that's one of the things that's so you would have follow-up emails like for example for my nft course I would have an email that says hey did you did you get your pdf yet did you watch the first lesson yet did you do this did you do that right it kind of let them know and also it could be you know content that kind of goes through what's in the course every day instead of having them they won't necessarily have to go through the the course but they could have links every day that takes them to the lesson one takes them to lesson two and that kind of stuff <laughs> and you can include some of that stuff inside the course or inside the emails I mean and then of course you can have different types of email sequences where you can send them emails if they succeeded at the end of the course or maybe if they're not even starting the course you can send them an email saying hey I noticed you you know you joined this course but you haven't started it yet is there anything that I can do to help or whatever you want to do but basically the idea is that having emails sent based on their activity is super helpful right so these are the things you need to have a successful online course how do you you know how do you get people to to get on your course and all those things that's totally separate you have to have an audience you have to build up or maybe ads or things like that but right now we're just talking about you know how do you make it your course at least have the pieces that you need to have a successful course all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions like always you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time